Hi, my name is Caroline. Today we are on the part five, the last part of a five part series I'm calling Magic Mirror Without the Mirror. I've turned the Magic Mirror into a photo frame pulling from my Google Photos photo album. And we have completed our project in terms of the modules. I have the date and the time. I've got the current weather, I've got the weather forecast, and I've got my calendar all ready to go here and the photos as you can see are changing as we go through this photo frame. Today I'm adding smartphone control to this project. I'll be able to turn off and on the modules as well as turn off the Pi remotely from my smartphone. I hope you'll join me for this tutorial. Let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is hit Control M, Control C as I've done in every single video. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, I encourage you to please go back and watch those videos as this video is not going to make a lot of sense if you haven't watched the previous videos. And we are starting right where we left off. We've got our terminal open and we want to add remote control control here. And how do we do that? So we're going back to our main page which was Magic Mirror dot builders which has links to all of the resources for this project I'm going to scroll down to modular check out the modules now these are third-party modules that other folks have written to enhance magic mirror and there's just hundreds of them here and I haven't been through all of them the one we're looking for is called remote control and this is remote control right here cleanly shut down reboot your system edit which modules are shown on your mirror and turn your mirror on and off from a, from a website i.e. your smartphone. Let's do that one, remote control, and oh, there's a quick install. Okay, very good. Let's see, so I'm going to copy that, and I want to install this in my modules folder. So let's From a fresh terminal window, I'm going to CD into Magic Mirror, and then I'm going to CD into modules. Paste this script, and see if we can run this script. Okay, and do I want to accept this code as is? Yes and I want to start the installation, yes. And I'm going to put, no, I don't want the development branch. I want the master branch. And here we go, it's going to install. It should install pretty quickly. And the installation is now complete. Do I want to view the instructions? Of course I want to view the instructions, yes. Below this line module, so this is the module, and this is the config option. So I hit copy, and I'm going to open my file manager, and we're going to copy this into the config module. Now, once again, config module is under Magic Mirror folder and config. And I'm going to right click config.js and we open this up with Genie. And let's add this to the config module. I'm going to hit enter, paste, remote control, and then let's see, position, bottom, left. There we go. And that is the module. And I'm going to hit save. Now, there's more configurations to be done. Let's get back to our terminal. Okay, so that was one. We've got to add it to the config file. Next, let's go to, I need to change other things in the config file. So I need to change uh, localhost to address 000. That way it allows any device to contact my magic mirror. And I'm going back to the config file and we're gonna scroll all the way up and it says localhost. Okay, I'm going to hit enter and then I'm gonna paste what I just received and then I'm gonna comment out localhost. Now this allows me to, instead of deleting the original config file, I just like to comment out the lines I'm not using anymore. That way I can go back in case I made a mistake and see what the original file actually said. So that is, I'm going to save that. That was step two. Let's review this. So number three, make sure to add the IP addresses of the devices that will be reaching my magic mirror. Okay, let's go back to config. I have no idea what the IP addresses are. Okay, this is not a best practice. I'll just admit that right now. I'm just going to copy and paste IP whitelist, copy, paste, and I'm going to comment out IP whitelist, and then I'm going to delete everything in here, and it's going to say set to allow all IP addresses. That is me. That's what I'm going to do because I don't know what the IP address is, and I want to be able to access this from my desktop computer as well as my smartphone. Not a best practice, but this is the practice I'm going to use for my Magic Mirror just to make it easy on me. All right, uh, so that is done. I'm going to hit save, and let's see if this works. I'm going to go back to my Raspberry, and it says, got it, yes. Okay, now I'm going to run the command CD Magic Mirror display and let's start up our magic mirror again. Now we can see the URL we need to go to on our smartphone 
in order to have the remote control to our magic mirror. And I'm going to open up a web browser and I'm going to type in 10.0.0.240 port 80 remote.html. I'm going to hit go. And here it is. Hit edit view. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off the remote control. So I don't need that little URL in the bottom left hand corner anymore. So now I've, I've reset it the way it was previously. And let's say I don't want to see the weather forecast anymore. I'm just going to hit weather forecast and turn it off. And sure enough, the weather forecast is now off again. Let's say I don't want to see the, the calendar. Turn off the calendar. Let's say I don't want to see the, the clock anymore. I've turned off the clock and let's say I don't want to see the weather anymore. And now I've just got my photo frame. So this gives you a lot of flexibility right from your smartphone to control the different modules. I'm going to turn back on the calendar here and be able to pick and choose what you want to see. Plus you have now a way to turn off or restart your magic mirror. I am going to go back to, let's see, the weather for, let's just add just the weather forecast. Just, and now we have just the weather forecast. It looks great. You can save these different configurations. This just makes our magic mirror just that much smarter. Now this URL, are you really going to be able to type it in every single time? Let's get real here. Now, what do we want to do with this so that it's easy to get to next time so I don't have to type in the whole URL? I'm going to go to this uh, middle bottom button here. I'm going to add to home screen and then I hit the plus button. I'm going to hit add and now there's an icon. Now it looks like an app on my phone and I can hit magic mirror and then automatically go to this page and add my calendar back to this configuration. Turn off my calendar. Let's go to current weather. Okay, I'm going to add current weather. Uh, back to this configuration. I can control everything, not everything. I can control a lot of things without having to go into the config file anymore on my magic mirror. So I have it set up the way I want it set up. Now I'm going to add clock back in and I'm going to add my calendar back in. Okay, so now I really have it set up the way I want to set it up. I'm going to put away the magic mirror smartphone app for now. In this section, I will show you how to disable the screensaver. From a new terminal window, I am going to run the command sudo apt-get install x screensaver. And this will just take a few minutes to install a screensaver. I'm going to say yes, I want to continue. And now our screensaver has been installed. There is a default screensaver that comes with every Raspberry Pi. And now I'm going to click the Raspberry button here in the top left hand corner. Then I will go to preferences and now we see there's a screensaver option. Click on that and then it says it doesn't seem to be running on display. Launch it now. I'm going to click OK. And then mode. I'm going to click the down arrow next to mode and I'm going to click disable screensaver. And that's it. Now there is no more screensaver and I'll close this. Now that I've got everything set up the way I want it set up, I'm going to now configure this for auto start. So that way it always starts this without having to run a command. How am I going to go about doing that? I am going to go to start magic mirror on system boot. Uh, while connected to your Pi, run the following command, PM2 startup. All right, let's do that. Okay, to set up the startup script, copy and paste the following command, and now I'm going to sudo reboot, and it should immediately reboot right into the magic mirror without me having to run a command to start it up. And here we go, we have our photo frame working, our magic mirror without the mirror working right here, right on boot. I still see that URL down here in the corner. I'm going to go to magic mirror on our phone and turn that off, edit view, and I'm going to turn off remote control. Then I'm going to save that configuration so that it is the configuration going forward. That way it saves me from editing that config file. That is our magic mirror with auto startup with the app. Thank you for joining me for the series. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.